Okay, so now that we've done the matrix multiplication uh, by hand, now we're gonna do it the fast way using our TI-84. So I actually just played around with my calculator and figured out how to do it on my own. So chances are you could probably figure out how to do it on your own too, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it. So first of all, here is my TI-84 and we are going to enter our matrices. So for this example, I'm gonna use the problem right here. I'm gonna do this problem because we know what the answer should be. It should be this. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on our calculator. Okay, so first I need to get those two matrices, A and B, into my calculator. And this is how we do it. We're gonna hit second X negative one because above the X negative one is where you see the word matrix. So second X negative one. Notice I already have some stuff written in here because I practiced and um, and then I couldn't figure out how to make it all go away. So whatever. Uh, here we go. So I did second X negative one. That gets me to my matrix menu. I want to select edit. So I'm going to scroll over to the right. There's my edit. And I'm going to select a matrix. Right now it's on A and that's fine. And I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm gonna tell it the size. I'm gonna change the size and enter my values. So my size for this one, this is this one. It was a two by three. So I'm gonna do two and three. And then it's gonna give me a two by three matrix for me to fill in my numbers. So now I'm gonna fill in my numbers for matrix A. So one, negative one, four, two, let's see. I can use the arrows or I can use the enter key, negative three and five. Okay, so I kind of did that in a wacky way. I should have just hit enter and it would have taken me from one to the next. So instead of using the arrows. So there it is, I have those numbers in, so that's good. So now I wanna set up the next one. So I have my first one in. So I'm gonna repeat that same process again for my other matrix, okay? So I just have two matrices, so I just need to do A and B, but you could do as many as you want, put in as many matrices as you want. Okay, so I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna do second matrix, and I'm gonna go over to edit, and I'm gonna select this time, <clears throat> I'm gonna select matrix B, Okay, and I'm going to enter in my size and my values. So this one is going to be, for matrix B, it's going to be a 3 by 2. So 3 by 2. There it gives me my matrix. Now I'm going to enter in my values. So negative 1, 2, negative 3. So this time I'm just hitting the enter button in between each one. This is much better than what I did previously. 2 and 1. There, so now I have both matrices in. So now how do I multiply them together? So how do I perform an operation? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go second matrix again. This time I'm on names. I wanna select a matrix. Okay, so I want A, A is good. It's already on A, so I'm gonna hit enter. Oops, what just happened? Never mind. Okay, let's back up. So after I enter in my matrices, you need to quit. You need to get out of there. Okay, so let me see. So then second quit. Repeat for all matrices. Let's add that on here. Second mode in order to quit. Okay, so we can get back out to the main screen. So that'll quit out of there. So sorry, didn't notice I needed to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to do my operations. All right. So I'm going to do second X negative one again to get up my list of matrices. I'm going to select a matrix. So A looks good. And I'm going to press enter. So now on my main screen, you see there's matrix A. Notice the notation. Now I'm going to choose an operation. We're multiplying. So I'm going to hit multiply, just hitting multiply on my calculator. And now I need to put in the next matrix. So I'm going to do second X negative one again. So second, x negative one. And this time I'm gonna go down to B. Notice I'm on names, okay, not edit. And hit enter, and there it is. So see, it's gonna do matrix A times matrix B. And then I just hit enter, and there's my answer. So let's see, did it work? Yes, negative 22, 19, negative seven, and 16.
So the calculator can do all the calculations. And there you have it. Okay, so here are the instructions for doing it on the graphing calculator. It's pretty simple. You just need to get your matrices in there and then you can do whatever operations. So um, remember before when we were adding matrices, in order to add matrices, they have to be the same size. So just for fun, let's see what happens if I do, if I try and add these two matrices. If I do A plus B, it should give me an error, right? So I'm going to select A plus B and look, it says I can't do it. Okay, as I expected, because the matrices are not the same size. All right, so the calculator is going to hold to the rules of matrices. And there you have it. So um, you can use that while you're doing the math space assignment to make your life oh so much easier. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.